Okay, Etho, go ahead and explain it to everybody now. How does it work? Boy, I wish I was an Etho right now. Hey, I'm not Etho. Let me try. This is his Shulkerbox search engine. Thanks for your hard work, Etho. Go watch his video. Link in description. Seriously, he gets full credit and needs the views. So let's do a review demo, dissect it, and a build tutorial. So right here, we have the input where when, just like him, I throw bamboo in, we're going to have inside of here the item we want to pull to look for a match. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our boxes we want to sort up in here. And as you can see, just like him, I made the yellow ones have bamboo in them. And when this is not disabled, so all you have to do is power this hopper somehow. And so he does it with this lever. But when it is no longer powered, they're going to flow in here and it's going to pull an item out of it if there is a match. And it's going to put it back in here and it's going to use that knowledge that there's a match to sort whether that ends up in this box if there's not a match and this box if there is a match. Right here is a simple dissection broken up into four different parts. So you can see this blue section right here is where we begin. We've got the place that the shulker boxes come in. And this is going to cause a loop right here if a shulker box is detected. It's going to cause it to send a signal here and this is going to flicker in a loop and then it's going to send a signal here to fire the next one. And then right here, we're going to detect one coming in and then break it. Simple enough. And so the next piece is going to be the match detection. So the match detection, which I have colored green here, it is going to take the item we put in here and it's going to lead it into right here. And so now we've got an item in here and it will pull an item out when it is going before it breaks it. And so one item is going to get pulled out of it. If we detect that item, it's going to cause a signal to be strong enough to drop the item down in. So I'm gonna do that and it's going to disappear and be pulled downward. And so what we're going to do is we're going to lead this signal in around. If you've worked with item sorters before, you should recognize this lime section. And it's going to just disable this torch so that the item can come through. And so right here, we're going to lead the signal through powering this block downward to this redstone dust and then wrap around in this part two of the green section. And this is going to move this block and this determines whether it comes here or here. If it doesn't match, there won't be an item, so it'll come here. And if there is an item, then it's going to come here. Now this purple section is if there's an item, we want to put the item back in the shulker box it was in. So we time it so that with these three sections of observers, this one working for the dropper right here, this one wrapping around to hit the piston, and then this one ultimately would be on top of this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have this yellow section detect when we're done. This yellow section is going to only fire when this turns off. When this turns off, this dust is going to cause this torch to reignite, causing this to send a brief pulse that's going to wrap all the way down and through and out. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this block be the same as this block, and we're going to also send a signal into the second section. And what this will do is cause this item that we, is remaining right here to be sucked out so that we clean out our item query right here. And so it will get rid of it, just that one item. And so what happens is that comes around through, that signal sends that here, and what will happen is the item will come down here and we have this redstone block here that we're going to push with the sticky piston and that's going to be behind this right here and we're going to move it out of the way and so instead of it, the item coming down and being put into a shulker box because there isn't a shulker box anymore we're done this one will be reactivated and it'll come down and then after a few ticks we come down to the signal and then we eject it right here all right let's see if we can do this in one take you ready so start with your dispenser. So we're gonna put a dispenser right here facing downward and we're gonna have a piston that breaks the shulkers. So we're gonna have it like this. We need to connect it up using some observers so that whenever it places one, it breaks one. So you're gonna have one like that and you're gonna need some going this way over to the next phase down below. We will get to that in a minute, but for now know that you're gonna have this right here. So let's start putting in our hoppers. You're going to need to have one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to need to have three right here. One, two, three. And it's better for now if we have them facing downward, but I will show you which way they're supposed to face in a second. So 
Up top, we're going to need to put some redstone that does this in a loop, but I'm actually going to do the sorting first. So right here, we want to have the classic filter sorting. And if you've done an item sorter before, you will recognize this. You've got to recognize this. Um, if you're familiar at all with redstone machinery, because sorting items is something that most people end up doing at some point. And if you don't recognize this, take a good look at it because I'm, someday you'll, you're gonna wanna use it. So this is a classic right here. This causes this to block off this hopper so nothing falls out of it until a certain number of items are in the hopper and then it will let one pass through. So the one thing you need to know is that this hopper has to be facing here and it has to do with the order in which hoppers work. That's gonna slow it down so that it will actually stop it. Otherwise, this one down below will pull items before it can be stopped. So let's go down here and let's start adding on to this. We're going to have a pathway underneath that is going to be the redstone for the final input that determines whether we're successful or not because when we find a match, we're gonna pull an item out and that means we've got a match. So right here, we're gonna put a repeater right here and then we're going to put a sticky piston right here. And the reason for that is we are doing a pulse limiter so that it comes out in a short burst. And so that's what you're gonna do for that. So we're gonna have another one right here that pushes and pulls a redstone block. And you're gonna to wanna to use two ticks on a repeater for each one of these. And that's connected. That's, you can power a piston from above. So that's all there is to the bottom. So back to what I was saying up here about powering the shulker, do a two by four, and we are going to do, this is the tricky logic. Now, I'm gonna show you something in a minute. There is a bug with Ethos system that I think gave him a massive headache, and I'm gonna explain what it is. So make this sure this one's inverted, and we're gonna have a loop here. So whenever there's power here, it's gonna cause this to flicker and send a pulse to this one until it is out of shulkers. Now, the problem with this is sometimes you don't get what you expect, and you get caught on a loop, and it doesn't work and what's happening is due to a bud nature, a block update detection, there's some weirdness with droppers and dispensers. And so if you do this, this won't break anything. It'll make it go a little bit slower, but this will make it work. And ironically, I found that after you get it working like this, you can generally take this out and put it back and it works just fine. So your mileage may vary, but to be safe and to show you that it does in fact work, I'm gonna do it this way instead of the way you did it. So let's put some glass right here and we're gonna do another piston right here facing an observer, I'm not facing, facing, but we're gonna have an observer here and it's going to run the redstone into the observer. So we're gonna have it like this. And so when I put a torch here, this is only gonna be pulled down whenever this is done. So it's gonna send a pulse that tells the whole machine, hey, we're done. And what do we do with that, I wonder? Well, that's what we're gonna do to eject our item that's coming in right here, our item query that tells us what we wanna search for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this down like this, I'm gonna put a note block here, which is a zero tick delay, it'll go a little bit faster. We're gonna look this way. And right here, we're not gonna place a block, we're gonna place a target. And the reason for that will be clear when I put a block here, because we want to run some redstone dust into it, like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a two tick repeater like this, and we're gonna run this down like this, so. Put a one tick repeater right here and right here. And this is where the other piston's gonna go. And so how do we power it and keep going? We're gonna put a block on top. And so we're gonna have this, and what this is going to do is move out of the way to tell this one, and let me start pointing these in the right direction so you understand what's going on. So these two right here are going to face this way. And the reason they're gonna face this way is this is where our second contraption. We're gonna copy this design up here. And so right here, we're going to put a piston behind, have a dispenser right here, and we're gonna have a dropper right here. And what this will do is after we've found our match, we're going to put it back into the shulker we pulled it out of so that things stay the way they were. Does that make sense? So in order to detect a match, we have to take one out of the box and then we gotta put it back in when we're done. And so that's the whole point of this machine. And right here, this is the end of the machine. So we're gonna put a, uh, let's put them facing the other way. So I wanna have it facing this way, this way. And so we're going to have our output like this. 
And so what will happen is we'll block off this one. So when there is not a match, we will not trigger it. So the ones that are not a match are gonna come out here. And then the ones that are a match are going to come out here. Does that make sense? So you're gonna put your barrels right here and right here for your output. And this is how we're sorting to find our matches. And so you could run this anywhere else, but that this search engine is that from core component. Now our input, in case it wasn't clear from the dissection, is gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna do what Etho did, and I'm gonna place a barrel on top. And we're going to power, because what that will do is power this so that nothing goes into it yet. So is that all coming together? So let's finish up the back here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this through, and this is the second bug I found with either system, which is sometimes, for whatever reason, having it set, I believe, to two ticks as he did, doesn't cause it to actually fire these in time. And so we have a final dropper here that spits out the search query item and it wasn't working. And so if you wanna fix that, this is a minor thing. You just put a bigger delay on that. And so that's fine. All right, so make sure you've got these covered up. Like, oh dear, let's not do that. Like this. So we've got them covered up. And then on the other side, it's already covered up. And then down here, you're going to cover these up. So what we can do now is wire this up. So these observers come down to here. And in order to hit this piston at the right time, we want to use a five tick delay. So what you want to do is you want to go one, two, three, four, five. And then you put a solid block right here. Now for the other side, where we power this dropper, we're going to do the same thing into a block here. And so we're gonna go one, two, three. And if you want, you can do like Etho did and put a block here and here, it doesn't matter. It just looks nice. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's do a review. So what happens is it comes in right here and then it's going to cause this loop to flicker. And then each time it does that, it's gonna place a, a uh, shulker and then break it. They're gonna get pushed here. If there is an item, it's going to get sucked out of this right here. And so we need to prime this. And you can use whatever block you want. Just use one that you're never going to actually have in a box. He used dirt. I'm going to use something else. So what you need is you need 41 of whichever block you're going to use. And you need to fill it all the way up like this. And so your search query is going to come in here, and we're going to pull it out. So let's go over here and get the some copies of the blocks that he used. I'm gonna use this one, and let's use one with a chest, some with some sticks in it, and then we're gonna use some clay balls. So let's go over here, and this pist this uh, lever's down, so this is not going to uh, do anything. And so now it should be primed and ready to go. So let's do one last sanity check, see if we've done it in one take. And so we're going to come through here, and when it's done, we're gonna send a pulse here. It's gonna come down, around, and through. And this is gonna go into here and power it one last time. And that will cause it to run through and pop this out. So our one we're searching for, which is gonna be bamboo in this case, because that's what we're testing. So let me get some bamboo. I want more bamboo. So throw one in. And so now it'll stop right here. And if you get one more, it will pull it down. And so what's gonna happen is it's gonna come down to this point. Now you make sure this hopper's facing to the side. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna come down to this point and then it's gonna push this into here. And by the time it's pushing, our shulker's gonna be here. So it's gonna just in time sink so that it puts it back in the same exact shulker we pulled it out of to find the match. All right, so let's run it. You ready? Notice that it's only gonna go every other tick because we put this four tick delay on it. So, boop, three, four, five. So there are the fives we have and you can see that they're coming down and it just kicked out our bamboo search query. So we should have nothing in this right anymore. And then we're gonna find there are clay balls and there are our st our ones that have bamboo in them. So it works. So we're actually sorting with this. Subscribe for more. Here's a material list. Go watch Etho's video to see how it's used. Here's a playlist of other builds like Mumbo's. And have a good rest of your day. Bye.